All right, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another hardware unboxing and review of the Fine Fine Ampla Game D6 Stream Controller. And what is it? Well, if you can see here on the box, that's a bunch of different buttons on a controller, and each one of those is an individual screen that you can program to do everything from play sounds on Discord to start and stop your recording and stream on OBS and pretty much launch any application that you want on your computer. So it's very utilitarian and a great little visual tool to help you with things like transitioning from scene to scene when you're streaming or putting up the pause screen or whatever so that you can make your life easier and fancier at the same time. Because it's both RGB and compatible with OBS. So everyone's favorite. And then just to show you what it looks like out of the box, this is what you get from inside the box. I've programmed it with Hell Divers, Abiotic Factor, Night Rain, and the launcher for Path of Titans. And then I've also got it so that it'll open up all of the editing software I use for Photoshop, Premiere, Audition, and Media Encoder. And then down here, it'll open up OBS, it'll record and stop recording with OBS, and then just for fun, it can also launch Subnautica. And I can program any of these buttons to do what I want, or I can leave them blank, which I have done in a couple of spaces here. So, and then of course, on the edge, so that you've got a constant amount of RGB in your office or room or wherever you keep your gaming PC setup, it's got that wonderful glowing edge to it so that you're always repping the gaming RGB setup. So with that in mind, let's jump over and do the unboxing, and then we will take a look at the website, how it's priced, and then what you need in order to set up all the buttons on the device and how easy it is to get everything working, because it only takes a couple minutes and then you're ready to go streaming or whatever other stuff you want to use it for. So the D6 comes in its own branded purple box, which is just a nice little clamshell, so it opens up real easy and has all of the important information on it, like the fact that it's compatible with both Mac and PC. It's got a bunch of different buttons that you can customize. It's perfect for streaming and for studio work. And then inside of it, it's got a the controller, a USB cable, and then here on the top is the user's manual, which will help you both download the drivers that you need and also walk you through the setup for both Mac and PC. And if you take the top off, there it is in a anti-static covering so that nothing damages it while it's in transit. It's very well packaged. Like I always love the foam packaging that they've got for their different electronics. And then on the top of it, it's got a protective film cover so that none of your little LED screens is scratched. So all of those are clickable and pressable. And then on the back is just a power button to turn it on and off, and then the cable to plug it in to your PC. There's not a lot of complexity to the actual device itself. You just turn it on, plug it into your computer using the built-in cable that it comes with. It offers you a convertible USB-C to USB 3.0 cable, or it can just be USB-C to USB-C, whatever you need, depending on the plugs that are available on your PC. And then that's it. There's not a lot in this package, but this can do a whole lot once you've got it unboxed and plugged in and set up. So jumping from the unboxing, let's go over and take a look at the website where you get the drivers that are drag and drop, so it's super easy to set up all of these buttons in minutes, and take a look at some of the other technical specifications. So if you look at their website, it's fivefinemicrophone.com. You can find it under D6 Stream Controller, and it's available for around $78, although it's oftentimes on discount on Amazon if you wanna save a couple bucks. And it's got a whole bunch of information here that you can take a look at, and it shows you that you can launch or do just about anything with these buttons. You can launch different software, you can control different software, 
like Discord or OBS so that you can play soundboards, change volumes, mute people. You can start and stop recordings and streams. And then you can even do things like launch Netflix online and it'll just bring up a website so you can watch movies. And a really all you got to do, as it shows here in this little clip, is you drag and drop the different software into the little key binding app and it's just boom, done. You're ready to roll. And you can download that here at the bottom of this page. It's available for Windows and also Mac. And there's some other technical specifications that you can see as well. So once you've got that all downloaded, you'll be able to install it. And it looks like this, where it has all of the different 15 buttons that you have available, and you can set them up however you like. Okay, so just to show you how easy this is, I'm gonna show you a brief little quick setup on how you can drag and drop a lot of your controls to make this real quick and easy to put the buttons together so you can start playing around with it, using it to record, stream, launch programs, and et cetera. So the first thing I did when I first out downloaded this is I went into the OBS Studio settings and I said, okay, well, how do I record with this software. So I drug the recording button on here and it popped up with a little server login screen. I was like, well, what's that about? Well, OBS, when you're using it, has the ability to set up under tools, a WebSocket server. All you have to do is click on the enable button down here and then copy and paste over the connection info available here under show connection info where it's automatically generated a random password for you, and then you can just copy that over. And once you've got that all set up and it's happy and connected, you can press this button whenever you want and it'll start and stop your recordings. You can do the same thing with a streaming button. And then you can then, if you want to launch OBS itself, I would then open up OBS, go to its properties window, and then go to open file location, and then you can just drag and drop OBS into whatever button that you want. Now, a lot of these will just be labeled whatever the software it is, but if you don't want any text on your buttons, you can just disable this title and then it'll just be the icon. And it should immediately show up on your buttons, on the little screens, these icons with or without text, however you got it set up. So from here, you probably want to be like, well, I want to be able to launch my favorite games, Larry. That, that way I can just start streaming and then click the button to start the game and I'm ready to roll. So to do that, I would probably just pop open your Steam. And then inside of Steam, you can right click any of these games. Like Let's say you want to add Night Rain because it's brand new to your games. We'll go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and then inside of here, is Night Rain the application. And then we can just drag this over here and we can put this as a game right here. And we can give it like Night Rain as its title. And it'll have some text both here and on the screen on our buttons. So that's taken care of that. Now, what other options do we have here? Well, we can do some audio player controls where we can stop start or stop our audio on our computer because a lot of streamers like to play music on their streams. And then you can have this button here to stop the music when you're ready. I'll go into more detail in a future list of uh, tutorials and a little playlist on how to get each one of these individuals functioning to their fullest. But for right now, this is sort of the gist of how quick you can put this together. Under the control deck stuff for fine, fine control deck, you can do things like create scene shifts. You can actually do multiple pages of different buttons. So you might notice down here, there's a plus symbol. You can set up multiple sub pages of buttons. And then with these previous page and next page buttons, you can then scroll through multiple pages of preset buttons that you create and you can literally have hundreds of different button combinations. And so here now, if I press the buttons on the actual controller itself, I can switch through each one of these subsections and then go back again if I want. 
So adding on to this, we have other features in here, like the toolbox where you can open up a website. They showed on the, the website themselves where they sell this, that you can like open up Netflix and watch Netflix. You can play text on screen. You can open different apps. You can trigger a specific hotkey or a series of hotkeys because they've got actions that you can set up here. You can trigger a mouse button click, all that good stuff. Multimedia controls to play videos and other stuff that you've got set up. And then you've also got, again, the OBS controls. Everything from recording, streaming, switching scenes, turning on or off webcams, hiding elements on screen. And then you've got Discord where you can mute yourself, deafen yourself, control the volumes of other users, control what pings you get and uh, setting up audio devices to control those and your soundboard. And then it's also got controls for Streamlabs. You can have games, you can have software, you can load an app from the App Store from here as well inside of the Microsoft Store if you want. You have a whole bunch of different options that makes this really quick to set up. And that's it really. I mean, you have a lot of different utility and power in this, and it's all just drag and drop. And again, you can really quickly just drag and drop all the functions and features you want, add a couple clicks to set them up, and you're off to the races. So yeah, this has been a little look at the Fine Fine D6 Stream Controller, which is a series of 15 programmable buttons that you can make do just about anything you want to do on your computer with the purposes of either opening up editing software or activating different effects on your stream or controlling Discord, you have the option to customize this to do pretty much anything you need it to do to elevate your streaming or studio editing capabilities. And as I showed you, you can set this up in a couple of minutes to do different program launching, to control OBS, to control Streamlabs, and even just do a bunch of different custom key bindings to open up other software. Although that might be a little bit more technical, but you can still do that if you want. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry, and I, yeah, I like this. It's cheaper than the alternatives, and it's just as robust. It's got high quality screens, easy to set up. Actually, I think it's easier to set up than a lot of the other software I have four different gaming drivers. It's literally just drag and drop. So what's not to love about that? And it's RGB. It's available on their website and Amazon for between $68 and $78, depending on if it's on sale. And if you grab it off of their website, it also comes with a discount code that you can use to purchase some of their other products. Like if you need a microphone or a headset, they've got a whole host of products that you might be interested in, including a capture card. So check it out. I'll put the links in the video description below and also a playlist again for those who might want to check out the more in-depth on how to set up the software. So bye everybody and have a good one.